where have all the really cute, sweet guys gone that want to take you on dates, that want to call you pretty or gorgeous, or say that they enjoy spending time with you, or they, they just like the little things? You know, or they even get to know you before asking you out. Because today in the gym, I quite literally had a guy walk up to me and go, Yo, baby girl, I like your buns. Want to go out sometime? Don't get me wrong, a compliment's always nice, but I don't want to know that the first thing you've noticed about me is my bum, or my boobs for that matter. Why couldn't you have just said, Hey, how are you? You, you want to work out with me? Get to know each other? Or why couldn't you have gone, oh, you're pretty, can I take you on a date? Why are you going straight for my bum? What? Why? Why? Where have the cute guys gone? Kissing in the rain, old movie love. Why is that not a thing? I, I commend your confidence. It's great that you can walk up to someone and say that, but that's not quite what I wanted to hear. She's wondering why guys don't take them out or do nice things any longer. Men saw the true nature of these 304s and decided they weren't worth the hassle. They brought their fates upon themselves. Someone explained to me why guys do this. Like, I had a date planned and I was looking forward to it. And then the guy is like, just to be clear, it's like casual, right? Like, what the fuck? I'm a 30-year-old woman. No, I don't date. Like, what do you mean casual? Like... I'm not saying I want to marry you, like, trust me, I probably don't because I'm very, very picky. But why would you, like, ask me to verify if it's fucking casual? It's weird. Just being honest. This one's for the boys, right? I've just come across a conversation that this girl posted asking other women for their advice on a conversation that she had between her and this guy that she's been dating. So he reached out to her and said that he felt a certain way asking her this question when they were together and if he could ask her now, which she responded, yeah. So he went on to say that he had been open and honest about the fact that he had dated women in the past who had used him, not paid for anything, he doesn't have a lot of money, he's living off his savings, that he might be overthinking based on past experiences, however he really values open and honest communication and he wanted to know why in the last two dates she hadn't offered to pay for anything. Her response, right, and this isn't word for word, but her response was, I only had an ice cream and two Coronas. You have four pints. If you can afford a holiday, then you can afford a date. If you have issues with gestures and expenses towards another person, then that's not healthy. I now feel a certain way about you. And I don't think we should see each other anymore. And if you want me to transfer you the money for the ice cream and the Coronas, then I will. Quite frankly, I think that's a little bit abrupt. The facts are, this man has already shared his financial situation with this woman and she has listened and continued to date him knowing this information. What made things worse was there were so many women commenting like, ha ha, what a loser, he shouldn't be dating, what a great response, what a massive red flag he is. Tell me if I'm wrong, but all we want is a man who is open, honest, communicates and is vulnerable. Why are we throwing it back in his face? They are throwing it back in his face because they don't want a man who is honest, communicates and who is vulnerable. They actually want a handsome, six foot tall, rich man to spoil them and for him to expect nothing in return. The man should have accepted her offer to get his money back. That's right! 